In our last video, we sailed to the Bay of Samana and saw humpback whales very close to shore. We moved our boat to El Parque Nacional de los Aetises and found Taino carvings in ancient caves. Just wait and see what other pleasures we find in this beautiful and remote place. We are Chantal and Gary, a couple of grandparents whose children never believed we would abandon the comforts of home for the gypsy life. We bought a sailboat, retired early, and cast off the lines to explore new horizons. Come share with us our adventures as we head south to explore the Caribbean islands while traveling in our tiny floating home. Deep in the forest, these caves can only be accessed by boat or, in our case, dinghies. The park rangers gave us vague directions in Spanish and it was up to us to find them. Remember to bring flashlight because there is not much natural light in there. It was interesting though to see the pictographs drawn by the indigents several centuries ago. of a resort built on the mountain and hidden by the forest and we were determined to find it so off we went through the mangrove river So this is a starting point and we're gonna walk to the hotel now. Oh, Hondo, a little resort place. Got a big pool here. Wow, I'm going swimming, it's hot. Built on the mountainside of wood and stone, the resort blends so well it is hard to see at a distance. Nestled in the middle of the forest, it can be reached by boat or by car and some very lonely roads. Using a nearby river diverted to run into the pools, fresh water constantly flows through 11 man-made pools. Notice all around the details of the decor. It seemed that every inch had something interesting to look at. Stones on the walls and ceilings, giant leaves and prints, calabash used as lampshades, and so much more. It is amazing.
There are three beds upstairs and its own little bathroom. Now busy cleaning. Bonito. This is a bedroom and there's another large bed up here so you could have a whole family here. With its own little balcony. Oh, how nice. In its own bathroom. There's a bathroom there. A shower. All you need. Oh. And we keep going up. Yeah. There's more rooms up here. We're at the top. I think that's the very top. <laughs> No, no, there's another one up here. So, oh my goodness, there's more rooms up there. Wow, we're at the top. A little sunroof, patio, and we can take a look down in the back. Yeah. Look at the floor, has detail, the seat, the armrest, it's everything. This is like a coconut shell that they made a light out of it. Look at the ceiling, even the ceiling is detailed. Incredible. Oh, look at that. Getting a workout today. Hotel Altos de Caño Hondo. I have to find out what that means. Okay, say that again. What does that mean? Altos de Caño Hondo? That is the name of the hotel. Okay, Al yes. Altos de Caño Hondo. But Caño Hondo is just a little river that, that you are with your. Oh, the boat. The boat, yeah. Gotcha. Well, we, we, we came in. They name it Caño Hondo because in that area, in the line of the train track that, that, uh, that used to be in the National Park, uh, uh, when you see those birds, mm -hmm. in that area used to be a train track oh. to export coconut and, and bigger banana. Banana, yeah. That's what, that's what, that's what people name it Caño Hondo. Gotcha. Hotel Altos de Caño Hondo which means tall hotel of the deep river channel, was dreamed by an architect and built into the forest using wood, stones, and other natural material. It is an ecotourism location with the Hivalis River funneling through 11 pools. This young man we spoke with told us he learned English on the internet and now works at the resort as a guide. We were impressed how well he spoke and his determination to learn more. We are leaving this beautiful place, Baia de San Lorenzo, which is the Los Aetises Park, right there, National Park. It was a wonderful three days. Time to go back to the marina before we take off for Puerto Rico. And now maybe we'll see whales. That would be so cool. We just saw dolphins, but I didn't have time to film them. They went away as soon as I saw them. These are skittish dolphins. They're not friendly. Pretty nice hotel. And marina. And the view ain't too shabby either.
on a on our way to Puerto Rico. Well, we're tired. We didn't sleep good last night. Mosquitoes no. and everything else. Oh my god. We 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 are. It is what? It's noon. There are so many coconuts on this island. It's incredible. That's all I see, as far as the eye can see. Coconut trees. Oh, we're close. I saw, I just saw a spooting. Yes, right over there. Whales coming by. Oh my God. Oh geez. As long as they stay away. Oh my God. Whales over there, oh my god, it's in a tail. Here we are. We made it to the coast of Puerto Rico. And it's uh, 7 a.m., sun is rising. It's gonna be a beautiful day. It's about 10 in the morning. Um, we are trying to get into Port Real and a little bit of uh, whale activity going on here. I just saw two jump and just saw one breathe and now he's uh, some looks like a humpback flapping his wings. Whatever they do is uh, fins, his wings, yeah. Uh, directly in front of us so it's interesting enough we're only in uh, 75 feet of water oh shit okay that was the uh, autopilot just lost its brain and we did like a uh, 360 right when we're getting near some whales so Always interesting on the Maracuja. God, now we have a water spout. Jeez, just when I'm really, just when I'm relaxing. No whales, water spouts. You know, it's sailing, right? Fish traps. You didn't see all the fish traps when we came in. You were already. In the uh, there's a sailboat over there. Yeah. Oh, pretty good. Too. It's time to check out Puerto Rico. We arrived when earthquakes were shaking the island. Climb an old lighthouse. Trust me, really old and get lucky or not at fishing. Join us in our next video. Thank you for watching.